Hi, this is Yoshi. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody.、Um, I just want to do a little bit of a recap this year,、um, or actually last year, I guess. Welcome 2021, and、uh, I have to say, most of people had a、uh, not so good year.、Uh, whereas I have some, I had some good t h i n g happen. Uh, and uh, I just want to do a recap for that reason, too. And the biggest one would be you know, moving into the new house and uh, uh, won a greenhouse through、uh, my Northwest Orchid Society's、uh, drawing. And、uh, this is an 8x15. So, it's a fairly nice size greenhouse, I have to say. It's a double layer greenhouse. And I made a, a vlog about this whole summertime.、Um, yeah, it took me almost a whole summer. But、uh, definitely helped me going through this、uh, super, super busy, the worst, worst delivery service. How do you say this? Worst heavy workload in delivery service, I would say. Especially in our post office in Mill Creek. Without this greenhouse, we, I, I couldn't go through it. But、uh, yeah, so I want to take a look at a new blooms that I was going to show you guys from the last video. And uh,、um, yeah, I talk about a little bit of a recap and what I learned through last year. So let's get to that. So, even though I was talking about the greenhouse, I'm gonna still start with this、um, my plant inside.、Um, I still have some, some Hoyas are still here.、Um, I kind of want to show you this uh, uh, Hoya uh, Imperialis. This is from Doug Chamberlain. I bought this. He sells this every springtime. And this went crazy and all the way.、Uh, Unfortunately, I don't know if、uh, the light is strong enough here. Well, it might be in summertime, but、uh, yeah, I need to see if it's gonna bloom or not. But, anyways, this is a south facing window. So, not now because the weather is sucky seven days a week around in Pacific Northwest. But uh, uh, this side gets really good light. And I have some.、Uh, this is a regular、uh, Carnosa that you can find anywhere. But、uh, here's a vanilla growing like mad. I'm not doing anything special, but yeah. And here is my sad looking Millennium Magic. Forced it to go dormant because it didn't really make it. This is the second year in growth. Really sad looking. I'm hoping to come back.、Um, so, that's the replacement.、Uh, I think it started showing a new growth. So, I kind of up put it to this kind of clear pot. I need to do that too. It had.、Um, Uh, spike and、um, bud formed, but I guess I needed to、uh, keep watering or something. So the bloom just this、uh, not the bloom, but the buds discated. Too bad I didn't get to see it. So I'm hoping next year, right? And this is something that I didn't get to show much. I've been trying to mount these.、Uh, Those are the species ones, the Violacea. And that's, so that's the Violacea、uh, 
Sorlua, and this is a uh, Shiraliana. I don't think this is a blooming size though, but this might, and this might. This is a uh, Tetraspis Red. Um, kind of have cosmetic damage, but it came with it. I think it's okay. Um, and I still have some flask to this flask. Flask to this flask. Um, I'm still waiting on more growth. There are some smaller pieces. I wanted to see a little more growth to it and do that. And here's another one. Um, this is from uh, Ellen Kobe. Ludemaniana. This, I thought it might bloom this year. Um, some species uh, will bloom in earlier stage. You will surprise how small and you would think it's not bloom size, but it will bloom. Uh, so I was hoping that would happen, but that's not the case. Hopefully this year. Hmm. And I lost corn sorbi uh, seedlings, but oh well. And this uh, no ID my wife got from a buy nothing group is still budding up. I have no idea what it is yet. And uh, let's look at this one. Carpentera Sydney Smith Green Monkey. Look at that. This is beautiful. I wanted this uh, particular hybrid for a while. And Michael McCarthy dare to uh, ask me to smell it. And I did. It has a very interesting smell. Um, it's not strong, so it's okay. It's kind of plasticky, kind of. I don't know how to say this. Let me smell this one more time. Yeah, uh, it's floral, yeah. Not really on the nice end. Um, I think, uh, uh, what's the other one? The Marfitch, something Marfitch. Um, has a similar smell. And I don't remember that one as a really nice smell either. I mean, like I said, it's not strong, so I can, I don't see, I'm like maybe two, one feet away and I don't smell it. So that's a good thing. I will keep that, keep this for the pattern, dots and all that stuff. And the plant itself is really vigorous. I don't have that, I didn't have this for a while maybe uh two month maybe maybe less than that i don't remember but uh yeah we'll see it looks very vigorous there's a whole bunch of a new growth there too so anyways um here's the polynopsis no id that i had to repot this is uh going to be donated to orchid society later on but uh yeah so here is um, some Nepenthes I have, and they did pretty well this year. Uh, every single one of them made a picture. I couldn't actually catch up with the watering. That's the one thing in this house. Uh, our apartment that we li lived last year had a really high, uh, really high uh, humidity. Uh, so I was watering less, uh, but here is not so much. There's a sad looking monstera, whatever the leaves happening. I don't know why, but um, right now it's uh, 45%, whereas uh, where we lived before, uh, it was constantly 60. Uh, on the other hand, it was pretty moldy though, but uh, yeah, anyways, um, so that's what's going on here. More watering than last year. Um, ended up pretty busy, but I guess it's a good thing because especially those guys with the moss um, ended up drying up fairly quick. Um, 
So that means I don't really have to worry about soggy thing, you know, soggy media. Um, help, helping this one too. This is a Polarothalus rhodesii. I have another one. It's from coming from exact same plant. Oh, that's my coffee. And uh, so what happens is it dries fast enough. So I don't really have to worry about um, uh, the root rot and stuff. And uh, here is my mess. <laughs> Here's my cold growing environment here not necessarily cold but i want to say humidity is trying to make it high those will be too hot in the greenhouse in the summertime so that's why i have a, a fan coming here 24 7 and it goes right in here and i have a humidifier here it's one of those uh my wife used to use and uh, it's still on, nice. So keeping the humid, humidity really high in here. I wanna make, a, I have a bigger terrarium like this or fish tank. So I want to make a bigger one, but that is a Dracula Lotax. Tried to bloom and never did. Um, or I think it was and uh, it just uh, keep this kidding and never made it to bloom so I need to either keep watering more often or keep it in humidity higher what am I saying uh, higher humidity I have to provide that I guess but everything else looking good um, I think that uh, Masta Baria Hirande, or maybe this one is, maybe this one is, made a shell, a lot of blooms. And uh, yeah, so it's um, doing fine in here. I just need to make it a little more humidity, more often watering. That's what I learned from this. And of course, this is my favorite one. This grows like there's no problem with this guy. Supposed to like uh, humidity, but you don't really have to provide much of a high humidity actually. So that's a good thing. So yeah, that's that. Um, well, let's go into a uh, greenhouse and uh, get some coffee too okay so here we are in the greenhouse um first of all i have to say uh the medias that i've been using is a lot different from last year i don't really use moss that often in here um because of the humidity and uh, me myself as an over waterer so um i'd rather water more often and uh you know don't want the soggy media so that's why most of them are potted that way and that's the big difference between last year and this year um, <clears throat> figuring out how often I would like to water water and the condition and whatnot that makes it a little different um, some uh, CDM types like that um, have some moss in it keep it a little bit more moist than like let's say cat layers and whatnot but uh, that's how I've been doing this year and I think it's been working well and uh, some of you might know that uh, um, I kept uh, orchids outside this year and uh, burnt a lot of leaves but in the end gave me a lot of uh, new growth towards uh, end of this year. So I'm glad I did. I don't know if I would do it again. Depends on what it is might be. Um, 
that takes a lot of a light, maybe some bandas. I'm glad that the bandas are doing well. Um, unfortunately, it took some uh, cold damage. Um, the one heater, that's one I found out. The heater I have is not good enough to keep it up with the cold here. It's been 30 degree, 40 degree, something like that. And one heater is not good enough for this size of a greenhouse. So I have to get one and uh, the electricity, it's pulling too much power. So it went overloaded. Um, so I have to do some electricity construction this summer. That's one goal I have to do this uh, this year and uh, but for now taking uh, two different line so this heater and this heater is not in the same line um, and that's what I talked about last video but um, yeah I'm very grateful with this great uh, green uh, what am I saying a greenhouse because we, my office had a, such a heavy workload in Christmas season and didn't have much time to do anything, no repots or whatsoever um, up until now. And uh, yeah, I left it alone three days, four days. Some days I don't, I didn't even come into greenhouse uh, just you know, working 16 days, 16 hours, and you know, some days are like that. But um, anyways, um, got some thermostat. So it's around 60 degree, in between 60, 64, something like that. Not too worried about uh, night and day differential at this point. I just want the orchids to survive through winter. That's all I care for at this point but um yeah this one is open this is uh encyclia or prostachia cochleata unfortunately no fragrance uh, but yeah it's weird and cool looking enough to keep it i guess um dendrobium sick on love very cute compact I think it's a nobile size and I think this is also fragrant yeah not too strong but it just opened so it might uh, come back stronger later I don't know very compact compared to this size this is a regular nobile hybrid and yeah the bud blasted a bunch of buds blasted only those two survived I think I should have uh, keep watering. That's what other people say, and I agree with that. And here's a cattleya, still po not poked out yet, but this is my uh, rescue a couple years ago, and finally probably going to bloom if uh, it doesn't do a bud blast because that's what this one did. I thought it's gonna bloom and it, uh, all the buds, every single one of them blasted. I don't know why, but anyways, uh, most of them went outside and uh, in the end, a lot of them giving me a really big, good uh, new growth. So pretty happy with that. Still learning paths, um, still not too much into it, but this one is grow growing faster than I thought it would be. This new fan, maybe it will bloom, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, gray eye, this is a huge thing that I learned in the last two years that it needs more light than I thought it would. Um, And uh, yeah, here, it's another sunburn here, uh, here and there. Uh, I didn't have any shade. That's, 
that's why simply put it uh, I learned what takes what kind of a light uh, even bandas some bandas don't take a good a strong light I have to put it in a shadier side uh, Alanopsis my first time ever after three years or so of trying to bloom it um, finally it's doing what it's supposed to be doing in the season this one has two spikes but two different kickies here so that's exciting this one didn't give me a spike I don't know why but it's probably still in the rescue mode I don't know but here's what's exciting well, it's pixie dust uh, let's see if it's fragrant I thought it was I thought it was uh, some sort of a jasmine yep very very light not strong but kind of jasmine like very pretty didn't have a spike so this is 100% for me I did this and I'm very glad um, Dendrobium microchip this year had a lots of light a little bit of a burn but it's okay ended up one spike two spike three four um, there are more there are more where are they uh, I can't find it there are more though four there you go four five so and each one of them will last really quite a bit so I think it's gonna all catch up and at what at some point it will probably give me a really good show is what I'm hoping um, mounted uh, lots of a uh, polynopsis species especially I don't know if it's doing any good this one this is a uh, zebulina or something but this is the these parts are healthy so I'm hoping for the best for that one um, <clears throat> Maxiralias this is a yellow foam this is a red foam they're growing okay um, in the end uh, I don't know why it's shrivels like this but they're doing okay they're growing so that's all it that matters to me I don't really care about like how plump they are um, as long as they're surviving <laughs> but waiting for this one to bloom um, I don't see any spike though I don't know how it's supposed to be uh, looks like it's coming from the middle so I was hoping for the spike but I don't know if I have yeah, I don't see any spike I don't know what at what stage it's gonna start blooming but yeah I don't know Stamphopia that's a new one too and uh, so far it's giving me a new growth here and there's more new growth and then more of uh, uh, roots coming here's uh, um, another uh, Sologeny Cristata not doing much though but um, this one is a new growth and ho hoping for more it, it has a roots it didn't have any roots it was a natural division got it from uh, George it just fell down on the ground uh, at the show and she's he's like here root this it's gonna take a while but you know that kind of stuff Zygo type I don't know what it's doing but giving me a new shoots what it does it's uh give me a new growth and it grow grow to certain stage and just dies off I don't know why um, wrinkle stylus they're growing They're just not blooming yet I thought this one for sure from uh, Seattle orchids bought it as a blooming size but it's just growing whatever um, 
luckily I like to see a growth as much as I want to see the bloom so it doesn't really bother me um, as long as it's blooming or I mean growing um, anyways um, here's some mounts oh it's starting to brighten up a little bit but um, they're doing well I like mounting um, I like to water a lot so this helps me my stress level about whether I'm over watering or not <laughs> but my Hoya shelves it's not doing better than I thought it would be actually uh, I don't know if I need to water more um, like I said I am setting up my stuff to be available for off more often uh, watering more often um, because that's who I am I cannot help stop watering but uh, um, maybe I should water more I don't know those are the um, Persiae and Anosmum there's another Anosmum um, this is new to me so I don't know how it's growing um, these are a bunch of cakes from one or two stems though there's a new growth there that I didn't notice at all. Those are all new growth. New growth. So I'm hoping for the best. Parishii, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm using a lot of uh, small, medium barks. Um, lava rocks this year. Um, so that I can more water more often and I think lots of cat layers appreciate that um, and small barks and a little bit of a moss for like oncidiums I don't know if I said that but yeah and dendrobium antenatum I think is that it or oh no this is the no ID one that's the that's the antenatum I thought it would bloom last year, but it didn't. Um, and simply because the year before or something didn't give him enough water, it, or I mean, enough light, I think. Um, Anseps, doing really well. Doing really well. Um, I cannot wait for it. Um, but yeah i learned airflow lighting watering very important um i got a lot of a uh, benefit from growing outside and now you know in the greenhouse definitely helped me going through this uh christmas season and Bandas are doing okay. Uh, got a little bit of a cold damage, I have to admit. That's why I started using two heaters. Um, a lot of the nights prior to that went down to 49, something like that. And I'm sure it would have been fine if it's only one day or so, but it was like almost more than a week at some point. And that's why and I'm hoping 60 degree is warm enough and I think it looks like it is and uh, this is one of the first banda I have ever purchased Scandens or something Scandens um, had a lot of roots growth um, the plant itself grew too but the roots just exploded right after I moved, moved it to a uh, uh, greenhouse so those guys are doing fine this one pretty much done Oncosteli I think isn't that what it's called oops uh, wildcat rainbow I think that's the name 
this one Aquagenera purchase I'm not too happy with the purchase from Aquagenera but finally it's showing me some sign of a new growth here there anymore I don't know um, this one too Miltonia Fima Tequila I think it is now on sedium uh, it's done I need to cut the flower spike and hoping for new growth but um, I'm gonna end up with this finally opened so pretty right so pretty and it's gonna be fragrant all day long it's not yet it just opened I think last night so it doesn't have a fragrance yet but it will and I'm very excited I got it with the flower from Moltz this is a uh, sorry Theravanda promo and uh, had a fragrance and I had a joy didn't last long because it came with the flower of course but um, I I enjoyed it all day long so I cannot wait and uh, finally I can see how long it's gonna last in here um, so this greenhouse is right now 64% in humidity um, or 66% in humidity it could get higher it says in between 71 to 65 uh, in 24 hours and 64 to 61 uh, and I think it resets around 9 o'clock at night so it's just not even 24 hours but um, I did not water today I watered yesterday morning yeah I, I don't water every day especially in winter time um, that's a big plus for me um, my season just got slower at my office but it's I'm still busy and uh, I can deal with a few days skipping the watering um, mounds also I think they're fine for not watering one day two days no problem so it's a big plus for me um, the Rogers video just talked about the cozy feeling and I definitely had that and so grateful to have greenhouse um, and I'm gonna end up with this it's not a orchid but This is gonna be a big picture. Uh, this is uh, Miranda, Nepenthes Miranda. And I just moved it this year into greenhouse for better humidity and I think it's coming out really okay, you think? So, yeah, anyways, uh, happy new year and uh, welcome 2021. Welcome new subscribers. Uh, it's kind of funny that I haven't um, posted the video that often and yet subscribers are a little bit going up and I really appreciate people subscribing um, I'm gonna probably uh, upload a little bit more regularly from now on so I'm still working six days I guess but better than seven days 16 days 16 16 hours a day it's just been crazy this is the hardest Christmas season I've ever experienced in five years I've been working as a mailman but yeah um, you guys let's hope for a better year this year I can safely say most of them most of us had a hard year my wife had a hard year because i was gone most of the time because of the work but yeah i don't know it's gonna be better than last year 
right? Uh, this is what I'm looking at. Okika. Uh, it's gotta be very close to blooming size. It's gotta be. I'm hoping for this one to bloom. So, yeah. Um, I wish you all better new year and uh, stay safe. It's not like a COVID is gone, you know, it's still there and we all have to be careful. So just uh, leave it at this one. And see you soon. Bye.